Okay, so we start off on the stability ball for our abdominals. You want to make sure that your back and the ball meet not on your lower back or your upper back, but right in the center, right where you have that arch in your back that you notice when you're doing deadlifts or squats or powerlifting uh, bench press. As you can see, my shoulders don't touch the ball in the back. I just kind of come right up. I don't go back too far and I don't come up too short. The range of motion is very brief. You want to do this exercise for four sets, 15 to 20 repetitions. Now here what I do is I take the rope that we use for tricep extensions. You want to grab the rope, go down, your knees touch the floor, and you hold on to the rope right by your ears. Now you're not using your arms to help you out whatsoever, you're just holding on to it, bending your elbows so that you're not using your tricep or your forearm muscles or your shoulders to pull that weight down. You're only bringing it down toward the floor using your abs using that core uh, your knees should be needed by your elbows so you're bringing your elbows toward your knees and you're looking down toward the floor now this shot is a, it's from a bit far away just so that you can see what it looks like from a couple of feet away so my as you can see my arms are not doing any of the work at all they're just there to hold on to the weight while it's coming down toward the floor. I'm not angling the weight. If you look at the rope above me, the string, is it's coming, it's almost coming straight down. Straight down. My my focus is on the floor right in front of me. My elbows are coming in toward my knees. Same movement that you would do if you were doing this on the machine is just on a loose cable. So it's a little more effective on the overall uh, development of your core. Now for the final exercise, what we do is we take a plate, um, something that you're comfortable with, of course. You want to place the plate right between your collarbone and where your upper pec meets. There's a solid little groove there, a little space that the plate fits nicely into. You want to hold it, of course, so that it doesn't roll off your hands or off your neck and hurt you. And you're going back and you're going forward. Now, you're not going back too far or forward too much. You're just focusing on that crunch, making sure to get a nice squeeze.